Hello students. In this video, we will learn about the first group under the division Phanerogamy, the Gymnosperms. In the word Gymnosperms, Gymnos means naked and Sperma means seeds. Hence, the Gymnosperms are seed-bearing plants. Gymnosperms are the first successful and advanced group of land plants. The occurrence of ovules and seeds is the advanced characteristic seen for the first time in gymnosperms, which is absent in cryptogams. Gymnosperms include medium-sized trees and shrubs. Sequoia, a redwood tree, is one of the tallest plant species. Gymnosperms are tracheophytic, embryophytic, and are with advanced sex organs. The sporophytic phase is the main plant body and is dominant over the gametophyte. Let us first learn the structural details of sporophytic and gametophytic plant bodies. The sporophytic plant body is well differentiated into roots, stem and leaves. All these organs poses well-developed vascular tissues, the xylem and phloem. Roots are generally taproots, and in some species, roots exhibit symbiotic association. For example, in cycas, roots are called corolloid roots, which are in symbiotic association with cyanobacteria, and in pinus, roots are called mycorrhiza, which are in a symbiotic association with fungi. To talk about the stem, it is erect and woody, and can be branched, like in pinus, or can be unbranched, like in cycas. The leaves are foliage leaves that are simple or compound and are well adapted to extreme environmental conditions. In some species, the leaves are reduced to needle-like structures with thick cuticles and sunken stomata to prevent water loss. As seen in the case of pteridophytes, the gymnosperms also bear sporangia, under which are present sporophylls that unite to form cones or strobili. The strobili bearing microsporophylls are male strobili, and that bearing megasporophylls are female strobili. These are structural details of the sporophytic body. To talk about the gametophyte, gymnosperm poses both male and female gametophytes and do not exhibit free-living nature. The male gametophyte is the pollen grain and the female gametophyte is the ovule and is retained within the sporophytic body. These are the details on the gametophyte. To talk about the life cycle, gymnosperms exhibit alternation of generations where the sporophytic generation alternates with the gametophytic generation. The gymnosperms being heterosporous generate both male and female spores that develop into the male gametophyte, the pollen grain that bears male gametes and the female gametophyte ovule which bears female gametes. During pollination, the air currents carry the pollen grains towards the ovule. Once pollen grain lands on the ovule, it germinates and forms a pollen tube which carries the male gametes into the ovule to help in reaching the female gamete. The male gamete fertilizes the female gamete to form an embryo. Post-fertilization, the zygote develops into an embryo and the ovule develops into seeds. The seeds germinate to form a new sporophytic body. This is how alternation of generations occurs in gymnosperms. These are the details on gymnosperms. Let us summarize. Gymnosperms are the first successful and advanced group of land plants. The occurrence of the ovule and seeds is seen for the first time in gymnosperms. Gymnosperms being heterosporous develop male and female spores. The gametophyte is reduced and is retained in the sporophytic body. Pollen grain represents the male gametophyte and the ovule represents the female gametophyte. After fertilization, 
the zygote turns into an embryo, and the ovules turn into seeds. In gymnosperms, the seeds are naked, 